Hello everyone, I'm Kieran from Gizmo China. Last December, Opal held the Future Technology Conference 2019, highlighting Opal's achievements and future concepts in 5G, AR technologies, and so on, which made us look forward to their achievement in 2020 even more. In mid-November this year, the Opal Future Technology Conference was held as scheduled. This year's conference not only showcased many of their latest achievements online, but also opened an offline experience pavilion where interested parties or individuals could experience Opal's latest technologies firsthand. We were also curious about the offline pavilion and tried to figure out what Opal has been up to in 2020. As soon as we approached the venue, the machine in front of us caught our eye. This is the answer to Opal's exploration of mobile phone form factors this year, the Opal X 2021 rollable screen concept. It rolls the screen with a hidden mechanism. When expanded, the screen can be straightened using a motor drive. The principle is somewhat like the tracks of a tank. This mechanism enables the phone to magically increase its display size like a gadget right out of a futuristic sci-fi movie. Unlike a folding screen, the biggest advantage of a scroll screen is that it can be expanded without adding a crease to the screen. At the same time, the UI changes could adapt to the screen's changing size and its scrolling. Honestly, the phone is really amazing, even if it's just a concept model. But unlike the Samsung Fold series, Oppo hasn't mass-produced the expanding screen technology. Only a few experimental machines have been made to show the public their accumulated technology. But no doubt that once it got applied on certain models, it would bring a huge revolution in the industry, reshaping all the devices that require a compact but flexible display form. Hopefully, Oppo will be able to solve the technical difficulties of mass production of this design in the future, thereby allowing common users to experience and appreciate how the rollable display design could be a game changer. Oppo launched its AR Glass last year, and this year is no exception. The Oppo AR Glass 2021 is the new iteration of last year's AR glasses. It's lighter and smaller. It's more like a normal pair of glasses. It requires connection with a smartphone, and the computing works need to be done on the phone. The Oppo AR Glasses can bring the wearer a super immersive visual experience of having a huge 90-inch screen in front of you. Watching movies and playing AR games is even more immersive and more enjoyable. Oppo has created an AR MOBA game in the Experience Pavilion so that visitors could experience the MOBA game from a more realistic perspective. There was also a lot of non-hardware technology to experience at the Offline Experience Exhibition. For example, UWB Spatial Awareness Technology, a mobile phone equipped with UWB technology chip, is used to cast the screen with accurate spatial operations. The selected screens will be smoothly activated as the phone points to, regardless of how many screens were in the same space. In addition, there was another biotech that detected and tracked your eyesight focus. This technology will allow you to play whack-a-mole with your eyes. And another camera-based AR mapping technology, Oppo Cybreal, allows you to use the AR camera for map navigation under complicated scenes, such as inside a complicated building. It's really inspiring to see the new technologies unveiled at every year's Opal Future Technology Conference, but it's especially meaningful in 2020, when things have been tough for everyone. Even if the technologies are a long way from mass production, we can appreciate the efforts of Opal trying to update their products. And the conference is a platform for Opal to showcase what they've been working on and showing us that they'll keep innovating, fearlessly exploring no man's land. And thanks to the development of these new technologies, bit by bit, the future will eventually be within our reach. Thanks for watching. This is Kieran from Gizmo China, and we'll see you again soon.